graphic designer running a design firm and uh, enjoying all kinds of creative work. When I was in the US working at a design firm and uh, wanted a better job, uh, I didn't have a portfolio. So in order to create a portfolio, I decided to design a book. Related to chess? Related to chess. I have no idea why I picked chess, but... This uh, one, and it's called Checkmate. Yeah. And w when was this created, roughly? Which year? Mm, uh, 2000. 2000? 22 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Don't ask me how I came up, how I selected the topic of chess, but I did. And then I studied about it and then I started playing a little bit with my office colleagues. But mostly this was created to um, showcase how chess can be taught in a very uh, visual way, not too wordy, but make it, in, make, make it interesting enough to want to learn chess. Can you show us a bit? Yeah. Sure. This is a handmade version. Mm -hmm. uh, again, 22 years old. So. so everything covering from why I decided to do this book okay. to um, creating designs where mm -hmm. it gives a feel elements of basically using elements of chess in terms of how even the contents page worked. Um, Every once in a while, putting some life lessons, philosophy <laughs> Every move of chess. Have a purpose. Yeah. <laughs> what chess can teach in life, also. True. And um, and he has a he has a history of chess, like sixth uh, century. century AD. The uh, chess originated in India. Then eighth century AD, China. traveled to China. Wow. And then again, if you notice, all everything is designed keeping the chess elements in mind. So the squares. The square shape of the, the book. book is also square. Yeah. So try to use as much uh, of that possible. The same thing applies in book numbering, the page numbering, sorry, uh, which was opponents. Mm. So both the page numbers are on nice. one, but they are opponents. So each element, basically, the beauty lies in the details, right? So mm. on the smaller things. Don't ignore your opponent's moves. Partly it was what I also learned and the mistakes I made. And this is like uh, the file, the rank, the diagonals. Right. If you notice, it's all heavy, visual heavy. And uh, in order to uh, create a book which would be completely customized and came from my design thinking aesthetics, uh, I didn't want to use the design of the pieces from what is already out there. So I created my own sort of design shapes and forms because I this entire book had to be completely designed so by So this you. is something that you came up with, like the rook should look like this, the knight, the bishop, you yeah. thought it out on yeah. your own. Yeah. I wanted to make it as minimal as possible because the whole idea of creating this book was to make it easy for people to learn and that essence I wanted to reflect in the pieces also where it's minimal and unique. To see the design come to life in form of three dimensional, two dimensional coming in life, you know, and taking a three dimensional shape. And did did people then play on this? Did they like this when you made it? Yes, absolutely. But it, it was bulky enough to carry it around. But we, I obviously there are a lot of changes that can be made now. I mean, this 22 years ago. Um, but yeah, my family has played with it. So beyond that, it's just in my family, nothing that more. And, and did you then get a job based on this? Like did people look at this and say, okay, yeah, no, you're yes, talented yes. and we'll give you a job. No, but it is on our uh, website where we've done branding and graphic design work. We've done a lot of product designs also. So I've kept it on my website where apart from this as a product design project, there were some other product design pieces that we were we had created. So it's all on the website. So when, when people go to your website, they can actually see, oh, there's yeah. chess there. They and... can see the kind of expertise they possibly mm. they can get from MQ. And that's my company. Yeah. This is tremendous. Uh, and it was amazing getting to know this. Thank you. This was fun to make. And I'm glad that you got to see it. A word from you is definitely, it means a lot. So. Thank you.